here with Miss Ruby, Miss Julia, and myself, and we're gonna make some chocolate chip banana bread. So for this recipe, you need half a cup of softened butter, one cup of sugar, two eggs, half a cup of sour cream or Greek yogurt, one teaspoon vanilla, a cup and a half of flour, one teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, a cup of ripe mashed bananas, and a cup of chocolate chips. Before you start cooking, you should always wash your hands with lots of soap. You wanna do that for at least 20 seconds. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is preheat your oven to 350. Next step is to grease your pan. Um, you can use three small pans or one nine inch pan. You wanna make sure it greases well so that it comes out easily. So the next thing you need is half a cup of butter. Most pounds of butter have lines on them to tell you measurements. So this is a quarter cup and this is another quarter cup, which makes half. So I'm just gonna slice my butter right there and put it into a measuring cup. And now I'm going to melt it in the microwave. So you just need the butter softened. So I'm gonna put it in for 10 seconds and then I'll check on it. So once your butter is softened, you want to add it to your mixing bowl and you want to add a cup of sugar and you'll be mixing it together. I'm using an electric beater, but you can also use a whisk. You want to make sure it's well blended and you can go to your next step. Once your butter and sugar is creamed, it should look nice and light and fluffy. And at that point, you're gonna crack two eggs to add those in. And you can crack it just by banging it onto the side of your bowl and then separating the two shells. One, two. And then you wanna beat those again until it's nice and fluffy. dry ingredients into a separate bowl. So we need a cup and a half of flour, so I'm going to find my one cup measure. And then my half cup measure. Next, we need one teaspoon of baking soda. And half a teaspoon of salt. So once you have all of your dry ingredients in the bowl, you can just whisk them all together. So the next thing you wanna do is add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients. And then you want to blend that all together nicely with your hand blender. All right, so to get one cup of mashed bananas, you want to peel your really nice and ripe bananas. Make sure you get all those little peels off and strings off. Break them in half, put them in your measuring cup, and use your fork to mash them. The riper they are, the more flavor and more sweet they're going to be, which is why you notice how brown and spotty these are. You can always keep your brown spotty bananas in the freezer for when you have time to make banana bread. And then just defrost them so you're ready to make this mixture. And then we have our one cup of mashed bananas. So once all of your bananas are mushed in a bowl, you can go ahead and add your half a cup of sour cream. And you will also be needing to add one teaspoon of vanilla. So you'll take your vanilla and find your one teaspoon measurement. Is it this one? This is my one teaspoon. All right, so I'm gonna take my vanilla and add it in as well. Oops, I put too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna pour some of that back. <laughs> All right, 
right, so now we're going to add our mashed bananas, vanilla, and sour cream into our mixture and make sure it mixes really well. good idea to scrape the sides in between mixing just because that way you make sure everything gets added at this point your mixture is done the only optional thing if you want to add is a cup of chocolate chips before you prepare your batter and pour it into your prepared loaf pans we want chocolate chips in ours, so we've measured out one cup. You're gonna sprinkle them in, and you don't need the electric beater for this, just hold them in with a mixing spoon. So once your mixture is all complete, you can start putting them into your pre-sprayed loaf pans, and you wanna fill it to about the halfway mark because it will be rising um, in the oven from the baking soda. Okay, so if you're baking with a nine inch pan, it's gonna take around 50 to 55 minutes in the oven. If you have small ones, we're actually gonna check them after 20. All right, so once you've taken it out and you've checked it with a toothpick and it comes mostly clean, it's good to sit out for about 10 minutes before you put it onto a cooling rack. So it's very important that you clean up everything after to make it nice and clean. And you just take some soap on your sponge and you have to wash the dishes. Hope you enjoyed cooking with us. If you try this out, post some pictures in the comments. Thank you. Bye. Enjoy your banana bread.